Hi, I'm Tom Workman from Workman Outfitters. And if you've been following along on our YouTube series, Beginner Fly Tying, because I'm new to fly tying, I want to share it all with you. Today, we're going to talk about the tools, specifically what a whip finisher is and how to use it. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is a whip finisher and you need this when you're fly tying. The whip finisher allows you to finish the fly. It's the what you use to tie the knot at the end of the fly and the knot holds it all together. So I'm gonna go over to the vise and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, real simple. Just for demonstration purposes, let's just assume this is our fly. We have our hook shank here and we have the eye here and my thread is hanging down. So I'm coming to the end of finishing my fly. And now what I have to do is I have to lock everything in place. So I take my whip finisher, take the top and the bottom, bring it around and I create this triangle. And I just wrap that triangle around the hook shank, kind of right by the eye. Pull the thread down, pop one end out, pull the other end out, I have one knot in there, and I like to do it twice. Again, we've got our triangle, wrap it around. So you're bringing that hook eye through the triangle. Stop, pull, pop. There, I've made my knot, I cut it. And sometimes if you want to, you can take some UV clear finish. I like the thin, dab it on there, hit it with your UV light and it locks that all in place. Okay, here's the thing with the whip finisher. It's gonna take you some time to learn how to use it. You're just gonna have to take your time, try it over and over and over again, and if you need to, just practice on a hook shank itself to get the whip finish down. That's how I did it. Hey, these are just little tips from me as I go through this journey of learning how to fly tie, and I hope that you can come along with me. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, if you didn't, give it a thumbs down, subscribe to the channel, and until next time.